welcome to Your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 336. If you're writing a book or thinking about it or trying to finish a book that you've started at some point, or perhaps you're at the stage where you need help reaching more readers to let them know about your book, you are in the right place. Good morning and happy Thursday. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc. I-N-K, like the stuff you write with. Christine-Inc.com. Every day I am sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they have the ability to turn a quote-unquote non-author into a published one. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. Step into a scene and let it drip from your fingertips. M.J. Bush. Once again, good morning, happy Thursday. Today I have a kind of a fun writing fundamentals exercise for you, and I call it Lights, Camera, Action. Sometimes when I'm trying to get a foothold on how I want to tell a story, whether fiction or for a real-life story in a memoir or other type of nonfiction book, story is story, whether you're writing a scene in your memoir or whether you're writing it with fictitious characters in your novel. A scene is a scene is a scene. There's no difference in writing a scene, just the same level of detail, except in the memoir, it happens to be you. In the fiction book, it's someone else, but the scene is still at that same level of detail. Just want to make that point. So sometimes when I'm struggling on, you know, how I want to write that scene, I will write it as a movie scene to get clarity and to kickstart my creative juices. And here's how you can do that too. Pretend you're the scene's director and ask yourself, especially sensory questions, but ask yourself questions that force your mind to paint a detailed picture of the scene that you're trying to write that's kind of forming together. Maybe it's coming out of the fog and out of the clouds in your mind and you're picturing it. So here are some questions that you can help to kind of move the fog and the clouds away and get clarity on what is happening in that scene and what that scene looks like. Questions like, Where is the scene taking place? So not just where, like what country or planet, but you know, just what room I mean and what building and be as specific as possible on the location. What kinds of objects and other things are in the space? Are there cues of the time, whether time period, time of day, uh, day of the year, are there are there time cues as to when this is taking place? And if they're not, maybe that's not pertinent to your to your book. But if it is, maybe you should have some cues there. What kind of lighting is in the room? So how is the room lit? Just shadows or bright or sunlight or artificial or what kind of light bulb? White or yellow or what is the lighting in the room? Is the space clean, dirty, cluttered, uncluttered? Who is here? What are they wearing? Are there any animals or pets in the room or insects or reptiles or aliens or anything like that? Grizzly bears. (laughs) What else is in the room? If there's a window or windows, walk over to them in your mind. What do you see out the windows? What kind of background noise is present? What happened right before this? And what's happening right after? The more you can place yourself in a scene, in the story you're telling, the better you will be able to tell that story to your reader. I hope that writing fundamentals, I hope this has been a fun exercise, but also a helpful exercise. Again, this is for everybody who's writing scenes, which is really everybody, even the nonfiction authors these days, should have lots of stories and scenes to keep your reader's attention. Probably notice with nonfiction, there's no really straight nonfiction books anymore. There's always stories to keep everybody's attention. So we are all scene writers. (laughs) Thank you for joining me here on your daily writing habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And be sure and drop by my Inc. Authors group on Facebook for motivation, accountability, book writing, publishing resources. we got a lot of great publishing resources, publishers, graphic designers, publicists, uh, website people, a lot of great resources in Inc. Authors. They're all there. And they're, what's great is their perspective is not, you know, just promoting and selling and da-da-da. They, the, author, huh, the resources that I have gathered in Inc. Authors, they 
they are truly there to help authors. And you'll see, you know, when someone asks a question about publishing or, you know, PR or website or, you know, any of the techn editing technical questions, and I start tagging some of these resources, they don't try to, you know, go into a sales pitch or whatever. What I love about the people in my group, they will answer just honestly and generously of their time and wisdom. They will answer my author's questions. And that's why they're in there. And that's why they're my friends. So I'm very grateful to all of them. But yeah, for you authors looking for resources. Uh, so Inc. authors, in addition to being around authors, you also get to be on resources who truly, truly want to help you. Inc. authors on Facebook. Until tomorrow, happy writing.